Probably like my best one since the Mono White Humans, which is obviously a very um, universally considered top deck. This is sort of random, just something I threw together that uh, I've definitely seen some players do before. I'm not saying like I'm the first one to realize that, hey, this is a monk and this is a monk and they both create tokens. Hey, let's play some Jeskai. Um, but yo, like what we have here is like strong. I didn't realize like how good Thousand Moon Smithy fits in. Um, you know, we do have a good amount of creatures that we're casting and artifacts that we're casting, right? Or Rass's Forge is in here. This is just helping us go above and beyond with Trample. Angel Fire in here. We can cast this twice, going above and beyond with Trample. We have a, a cow, uh, a cow Pacal in here. Every time we're putting an artifact in there, hey, we're we're uh, selecting some good stuff, putting something in the graveyard. Uh, we do have some Disturb, for example. Mirror Hall Mimic does some cool stuff today in the gameplay. Uh, this is just like so fun. Like uh, the gameplay today is kick ass, by the way. So thanks for clicking the video. All the support recently has been great. You know, you can throw a Mondrak in the equation and just start creating tons of monk um, creature tokens with prowess. And of course, 1-1 one, one soldier tokens that don't have prowess, but they are artifacts, right? So that's the other thing. I don't think I even said it, right? So um, a cop, you know, this guy is going to be able to do that every time one of the artifacts comes in. Um, and you can do that once per turn, right? Yes, each player's end step. So all of our you know, make disappears that are gonna create things or baiting hopes that we're doing on their turn. This is gonna be another uh, another trigger of this, for example. Tishana's Tidebinder, we're gonna get against a Jason one of the games today, right? And Jason's trying to get up to a big thing and ramp it. And we just have this in our hand ready for him, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Diamond Pickaxe, right? This is just gonna help us ramp. It's a nice little equipment. Um, it's indestructible. It, it is a non-creature spell, so things like, right? This is getting bigger. Um, not these, but these are getting bigger. Um, and it's helping our um, our evasive creatures get in, right? So we have a Malcolm in here, which is pretty nice. We also have Twining Twins, which is Flyer. Um, this is pretty cool, especially when you do like Monstrous Rage on them. You're just like closing the game, right, for example. But more importantly, like something like this can randomly close a game, um, especially with Vigilance. This is good. A lot of great interaction in the early game. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. We also stuck a Sahili in here, the Sun's Brilliance. We're creating a token that's a copy of another target creature or artifact. So that could be really good just to close the game out of nowhere. Obviously, copying something like Trumpet and Carnosaur would be great. But even like a Haste Flyer with Vigilance. Well, the Vigilance doesn't really matter, but a Haste Flyer. Or copying the token, right? That could be pretty good. Or just one of these and then casting some more spells. Or a huge, you know, if this gets to sit on the field, we could copy this token. So that actually fits pretty nicely. And we do have tons of ways of just triggering everything. A lot of interaction. Um, just two counter spells, but it's totally enough. The Hero's Resolve is great, right? It gives all of our creatures plus one, plus one in haste, and we're creating a ton of them. Um, we can return them if we need to to keep some of them alive, things like that. This is obviously great. If you want to fit in more on the top end, but I think this is more of an aggro deck towards the uh, early end of things. Virtue of Loyalty slapped us down. It's just like, boom, what's up? And don't forget all the great creature lands we have available right now in Standard. It's like crazy. Uh, Restless Anchorage is just going to help you end the game. This is great. Evasive Flyer. Restless Spire. Two of them are in here. And we have two Restless Biovax. So right there, that's seven creature lands that we fit in pretty nicely. We have a Sokenzin in here. Boom. An Ottawara in here. Boom. A Ganjo in here. Everything flows. We do have all of the... Um, I feel like the mana base that I have right here is perfect. So I know my head's kind of in the way for this part. But I will be um, putting the list um, for you as well. In fact, let me just... Beep, 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 beep. 
let me just do this for a second oh yeah look at that technology right so um, you know this list is very peculiar but I think I just have it down perfectly I you know even the the ping ones that you do take damage I mean you can fit those in to ensure that you're hitting right um, we have a diverse two drop selection and diverse three drop selection so that's pretty cool but in combination with these two right it's just like yo let's go and then also this guy um, so a lot of lot of fun stuff very strong again this is probably like my second best deck at the moment so I'm gonna keep pumping out stuff for you guys and um, if you're new around here I'm gonna I need to put end screens um, but I have like a ton of content that I'm like putting out, especially this month and stuff. And all of it is like standard related. So if you're interested in any color combination and stuff, I probably have a video uh, related to that. But uh, here's Jess Guy for you today. I hope you enjoy. The games are great. So let's get into it. Well, howdy do. Thanks so much for watching the gameplay. You are a absolute rock star. Let's leave it with this. Now we have access to all three colors. Look at that. So usually, you know, we're laying a tap lane on turn one. Um, we're usually laying one of these two boys, which we have in our hand. That's the ideal start. I like to wait a bit. We're going to flash this out. Okay. This is great, right? It's evasive. If they remove it, they remove it. Because this is ultimately more important. But uh, it does help us filter. So let's do that now to see if we can hit a land. Now, since we are discarding things, I think I think we discard the Harry's resolve. This is great to hit off the top, obviously, um, later in the game. But like you know, for right now, okay. So that's a good hit, and I don't think I think it's safe to lay this right because they probably would have countered that. Yeah, so we're kind of just set up, set up here. So with a start like this, I mean, we should be good. Especially if we get into a counter here. Then the uh, board wipe is pretty much the only thing. Ooh, Celestis. Okay, so they're getting closer. Is it Sunfall? The world may never know. Um, We could do this, which I want to do. I don't want to overcommit here. And I think this could be a nice little turn to get a free map token. To help us out. Quite a bit. We'll probably get rid of the mirror hall. Yeah. Mirror hall's dope. Especially when you discard it, you can cast it again from the graveyard. And it's basically like a mirror um the helm. Helm of the host. Helm of the host. Sort of kind of, right? Every upkeep you're creating a token, except it's a spirit and it just do its other types, blah blah blah. So pretty cool. I don't think it has the legendary clause that Helm of the Host has. It makes like non-legendary copies, right? That's what's pretty cool. We'll see, okay. So there we go. We didn't overcommit. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Now that's tough. See, if he has more of those, I've seen this strat before with um some of the like anyway, there's like a different strat. I don't think he's doing it with these colors. But anywho, okay, we could go for setting up our creatures big time, big time. Let's do this. Because twinning, um, twining twins, which I can never say correctly, can keep this guy alive if we really need to. And we'll get a prowess boy out of it, right? So, it does have two mana, we gotta keep that in mind. So, I think we're playing this pretty well. Um, obviously we'd want to get way more aggressive if we were against different colors. But, um, yeah. I think both players here are respecting each other. I like it. I'm hitting with a nice. By the way, I got the new uh, cat avatar. I'm feeling, feeling like a hot boy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, demolition field, dude. That is not nice. Can this hit? No, dude. No, dude. If they kill this, they kill this. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'd be way too lax about that. But I'm feeling frisky. Um, we need the second blue, right? Yeah. That's definitely the best one to get. If we had Fading Hope, right? Ooh, baby, juicy. This deck's great. This deck's, like, so good. Black Mamba HQ, dude. Sheesh. R.I.P. Kobe, man. Dude, when I, I played basketball my entire life, it's like, every time I did a fadeaway shot, you know what I mean? Kobe... You know, every time, you know, or crumpling up a piece of paper in school, in the basket. Man, absolute unit. He inspired me, man. 
All right, so this guy's got a Wandering Emperor, probably. I bet this is a Wandering Emperor. Now, Mirror Hall Mimic is kind of nasty, especially if we don't swing. I bet you it's a Wandering Emperor, right? But so is Virtue. Should we just risk that getting countered? But so is this. Ooh, the options are incredible. <laughs> Let's, um... Wow, let's actually cast this onto this next level game. Just in case. Just in case some weirdness happens to the boy. Next level game. So you gotta you wanna spread your, your web with spiders. <laughs> Dude he wants me to swing with this with these guys so bad. Nope, just the vigilance guy. Put that water in up, dude. Dude, come on, slam it down. <laughs> Come on, come on, where's the water number? Oh no. Oh wow. Dude, I didn't even realize. Wow, look at that art. Dude, okay. I deserve that one. I was I was I was definitely expecting water number, which like you know, I thought they were gonna minus one and then block, right? Or force that out kinda. Uh, it was pretty pretty much a dumb swing completely. Ooh, really? Wow, so imagine we created another one of him. Ooh, <laughs> So this is kind of nuts if this resolves. Like, if this resolves, that's crazy. We don't have our Invasion of Goba Can to keep these guys alive. Wow, that feels bad. Let's just slap this down there, right? Ooh. Yeah, okay. Respect, respect. So we still efficiently use our mana. Okay. I like the fact that I'm just creating more tokens for free and this guy's still... Okay, here's the Wandering Emperor, here's the Wandering Emperor. I'll, I'll take it now. Go ahead and minus... No, it's the March, dude! I don't even think this card's that good. I really don't. I do not. I don't. I am not a fan. <laughs> That's all I have to comment, though. All right, excellent. See, we made the right choice get, uh, putting it on that. So this is, pretty, <laughs> this is pretty fun. This is pretty fun. So obviously, I wish we laid this way earlier, but I'm just expecting these board wipes here. This can help us go big. They're gonna counter that. Hmm. So it's kind of tough. I say we... Hmm. I say we just get this counter if it gets countered. It does trigger the prowess, which we just need to do. They have to do something here. I'm just a little scared about what they got. They got a lot of mana. Okay. But how many triggers? How many can you stop here? Maybe go down to one. Gosh, if we had a shock or something. Do we play with fire in this in this deck? I don't know. Oh, I guess I, I guess we don't have this one. I forgot. Good block, good block. I saw that one. I saw this coming that time. Not the first time. <laughs> but we, okay, had a feeling. We are so, dude. We are so patient right now. This is crazy, dude. The patience is nuts. To play around that sunfall for 18 turns straight. I'm just kidding. Boom. It's over. Wait, so how, how can... Yeah. So we do this instead. We keep this alive. And then we boom, bam, bam. Because we can restless... Restless bing bong our next turn. So whatever happens here, dude, we're safe. Wow, this deck's good. I like... This reminds me of a... This is like one of my favorite types of decks to play. Like I love the, I love this color combination. I don't know why I'm so excited about it. Like oh my gosh, Ch children's card game. <laughs> I, I played a, a guy like <laughs> yesterday. His name was just children's card game. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna try to do that to my boy? What's up? What's up? What's cracking? See now, now we got. 
Now we got deadly, especially if we top deck anything that's not a creature. The fact that we didn't even use these the whole time. Unbelievable stuff. We're just true gamers. Elite gamers. Let's go. We're going. What do they got for this? They gotta have something for this. It's over. It's Jover. <laughs> Bring it on. Go ahead and block. <laughs> We're bluffing. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Man, if we had anything else or one more mana, right, for that would have been sick. But, boom. There are two, man. Should we just slap this down? Yeah. Because... Can they have any life gain? Yeah, that can gain one life. So we guarantee that this, at least, is going to do three in case they somehow gain life with this, which they could. Um, that's good, but not right at this point. Make this appear early. It's just so good. Okay, I hope they don't do some bonkers nonsense. Like, what, what do they got for me? I'm not even going to sit there. Man. Like Mom HQ, man. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I do. Alright, and don't forget, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up. <laughs> and sub for more Caverns of Ixal on standard decks. Become subdued. Okay, I am subdued, according to the guy. So he's gonna try to uh, big mill me. If he has another one, if I die in the mill, that's crazy. So look at that. The gaining the life is big here. I could slap this down. This could be huge here. The twining twins. Twining twins could be huge. Alright, what do we get here? Not ideal, mates. Not <laughs> ideal. So, big slap it down. We do this. We can't deal with the blocker, but we swing with this. Not too shabby. Shabby dabby dabby do. We got <laughs> nothing we can do about that, I suppose. However, the real threat comes down okay so we can't swing no swing throw it down let's go finding twins is huge here if they get any more life we can hopefully go bigger with the maps it has ward one okay i thought it was ward two but this is gonna be huge jace is scary but like we can't can we lose we can lose to like a double jace here here's some crazy big spell okay they're discarding mana what is this it can't be that good let's go let's go let's go Oops, let's go, let's go, let's go, man. Oh no. Plans are beyond your comprehension. Dude, is this guy gonna pull it out? He's pulling it out, man. So the fact that he did it to that. Ooh, this is pretty good. I mean, creature land's pretty decent. Hmm. I mean it's not like crazy crazy though, because mm, we don't necessarily want to tap. We can tap these two. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is totally worth it. That's totally worth it. Let's do this. Let's just throw this down. We're basically saying, hey, this is what we got. Okay, cool. I wish I had the Restless Spire thing I could swing with. That land is really good. So I think the smart thing to do is swing at Jace. Because that's our only lose con here. We're not scared of losing. This is gonna cut whatever he can do in half completely. This was probably smart. Okay. I figured it was coming. Okay. Why do my lands keep taunting me? Okay, it's just for that, okay. I keep looking at my lands like, dude, I miss this a draw thing. So we can cast this again? Mmm. We can even Mmm. We can even do this. Mmm. 
yeah, 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 yeah. We can even do that. Okay. Big plays. We're fine to take advantage of these boys. Absolutely great. That guy's protected at least. This guy, okay, so he's coming back now. Just kidding. I do that. I, I totally do that. So that's big. That's huge. What can they get to here? Do they have, they have this. They only have one though. I keep sliding it's further and further down in my chair. You know what I'm saying? Dude, if if we lose to Mill, so this is minus seven times three, so that's twenty one. That would leave us with seventeen cards. So they're going for even more. Probably smart at this point. Go for one big shabam. Let's see. One. Oh, see the next time. Oh, we just counter Jace with this completely, completely. So we we cast this now. I don't know why. Why did this pop out of the exile there for a second? <laughs> you see that? Boom! Okay, so that's 10. So this can. Can we win though? So we got one. That's. Yeah, five right here. Nine. But this doesn't connect. So yeah, eight. I think we win if we do that. Yeah. Let's go for it. Obviously, Tashana's tie binder is like really good here. We can do this on one of them. So let's do this on to this, right? Okay, hopefully we hit the, the counter. Maybe it matters if they somehow gain life or something weird. Okay, that's perfect. We'll leave that there. Um, yeah. Okay, so we swing. All face. Like, what could they have, right? I can't see that, right? Sometimes my webcam blocks that. And I'm like, is there a second card? They're really close, man. They're really close. I honestly thought I was swinging with uh, 20, 20 twins here, which is why I got so excited. Oh no, so if I lose to Jace. <laughs> That's really good. Dude, if I lose to Jace because that overextension. If they have another Jace in their hand right now. And I have a Tishana's Tide Binder, man. Okay. That's so good. That's so, good. so we have to use this on Jace. Okay. Um. Hello? Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Um. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we just leave that there. We could neutralize the Celestis, I just realized, which is pretty cool. All activated abilities are triggered ability. Yeah, yeah, ability of artifact. Boom, we got him. And the fact that we'd make another um, golem when we cast the Tishana with Flash there, that was a good game, yo. Right? And then that was their only win con. We just had this. We played it patiently, keeping these guys alive. That was good. So let's get into another one, especially with the Trumpety Carnosaur over there. Gosh, dang it. By the way, if you like the video, hey, you know, you know, don't forget to subscribe. Hey, let's get into some more of that. Alright, game two for you lovely people. Thanks for being here. Let's hit them with some of these. Yeah. That's the play. We always want to save. I mean, like, Fading Hope is just, like, another free uh, soldier, right? Which is pretty cool. I do like the fact that this guy makes soldiers. You could probably throw him in, like, a soldier is it deck. With way more interaction because of the red. And probably trample. Which would be really nice. I also really like diamond pickaxe here. Look at that. Nice. Hmm. Let's go ahead and equip it to this. This thing can't block. The rat can't block. So whenever it dies, it creates more one ones based on the damage it dealt. So it's not that good, especially if there's a lot of just like black removal spells. It's just say destroy because it's not uh, taking damage. I mean, it's probably really good in some commander decks when you do tons of damage to it yourself or whatever. Um, we don't want to do that. Yeah. We don't have to actually do damage. It's just on attack trigger, which I really like. So let's get this down. Um, we can do this. I say we hold up the make disappear, you know what I'm saying? 
We could also equip this to that for some reason, but we don't need to do that. So really nice that treasure in the beginning is pretty cool. Yeah, we can counter this. We definitely should. Ooh. Another soldier. Another soldier, man. Dude, this cat avatar. Roar! I wish we could hit him with a meow, you know, after a play like that. Meow. <laughs> oh no! Let's take it. So. Boom. Oh, this is just a cost one, so we should return that instead. Yeah. Here we go, it begins. Let's keep it there. Um, put this here so that we can swing with this guy. Oh yeah, we're gaming now. Absolutely gaming, I would say. Um, we have our homestead, which is nice, but let's save it here. Let's save it, let's see what's going on. If they, if they wipe the board, with that one, with that one card, that'd be pretty unfortunate. Okay, the Rat King, man, that'd be a great commander. Um, so we can pop this right away. Can we win or something? No, this doesn't have prowess. I always forget. So we have three, five, seven. This gives plus. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we just win. I believe. We just take this out. Oh, I forgot to cast. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I was like, I think we need to cast that there. Unless I did my math wrong. Oh, we got the rain go. Let's go. I don't know. Yeah, let me see. Three, seven, nine, I think. Yeah. So I did need to cast that. <laughs> anyway. So we got the rain up to. Where did I just go? I don't even know. How do I click? <laughs> Aha! Plat 2! I'm so smart, I paid so much attention. Alright, so cool, so we're gonna hit, hit Diamond, I know it. This deck is like, top tier, this is feeling like, really good stuff. So I do appreciate you guys sticking around. This is gonna say Diamond soon, and then Mythic, uh-huh. And then it's gonna say a number one player in the world, for sure. So, appreciate all the support, you guys. You know I'm gonna keep the standard uh, deck list coming so if you like that stuff I'll see you again like we could be friends you and I you know what I'm saying uh, all right have a good day you guys peace